What is up, everybody? How's it going? It is Matt, and it is Wild Wednesday, right? Happy Hump Day. You know, every day starting to blend together. I almost thought it was uh, Tuesday for just a moment there. That would have been bad, because this movie isn't terrible. Today's movie is not. But first and foremost, I want to tell you guys, thank you for coming by, checking out things, looking at my ugly face. And first and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day or dusk, all that fun jazz. Yes. And please do like, share, and subscribe. I like to see your new faces. Um, I see we're at 99 subscribers right now, which is awesome. Hopefully we get that that one extra. Hopefully you guys know somebody that would love to check out my content and push it at that 100 mark. I'm 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 stoked to finally get to triple digits. Yeah. <laughs> And then, then we'll the, we'll move to the next uh, goal after that, which I want to I want to put at 125. So I don't want to outshoot myself and go crazy. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, get on to the film of the day. Today's film is amazingly crazy, uh, kind of gross. One that uh, most people will enjoy, in my opinion, because, or at least people that watch my kind of content will enjoy. Uh, I I would say about probably about eighty five to ninety percent of you, I'm sure, will will dig this film or do dig, dig this film. <clears throat> I was asked to do a um, to review this, so I'm uh, I pushed it ahead of a couple of things because I was. Uh, running blanks on what I would do for Wild Wednesday this week. And so I went ahead and did this one for it. Um, thank you very, very, very much for recommending it, uh, for me to review it, because this is one that I was definitely going to get to. Uh, I will I will eventually do part one and part three of this franchise, but it will be one of those things like I do with any other franchise. I will do them as I go, like, sporadically out here and there, randomly. Um, <clears throat> just because I don't want to basically... Because so many movies, especially sequels, they're so much alike. And I don't want to sit here and describe the same movie over and over and over for a week or three weeks or however many weeks it ta takes me to get through a genre... Or not a genre a uh, franchise because when I if I'm going to start a, a franchise I'm going to do every single thing they have for it including if it has remakes or reimaginings or any of that other whack stuff like that um, not all of it's whack there are a few remakes here and there that are actually pretty decent um, <clears throat> now this movie today was filmed in it was made in or came out in 2011 uh, it uh, uh, is this is the unrated director's cut and that's running clocking in at an hour and 31 minutes so both of both my cuts that I have on this film are running at that time um, I don't know if the colorized version is longer I think it might be maybe not no I'm sure it isn't I'm sure it's the exact same runtime and this one stars both uh, Ashlyn Yenny and uh, Lawrence R. Harvey uh, Lawrence R. Harvey is just a nasty nasty man in this one and I believe that the other girl um, Ashlyn Yenny is the girl from part one that comes back to this one uh, because basically the whole format of this one is the guy is completely obsessed and you get to delve into that obsession and this is none other than Human Centipede Part 2, the hu the full sequence. Yes, 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 yes. And I got, uh, I this is my original DVD I bought years ago. Uh, <clears throat> it is now retired. It is now still sitting on the shelf. I will not get rid of it because it's one that uh, I'm happy that I double dipped on because I do enjoy the Human Centipede films. Uh, one and two are just just uh top-notch films in my opinion the first one is is um more psychological i feel like it's more in your head um it's uh very good though it's it's one that uh often makes people uh squirm even though they've never watched it um this is just the premise of it alone is what makes people squirm uh, and you don't really get enough of that fulfillment in part one. But when you roll over to part two, holy crap. 
crap. Crap, exactly. It is just insanely, it's just insanely nutty and corny to do a little bit of poop jokes. Um, yeah, Matt, you're older than that. You don't need to be doing those. But um, <clears throat> basically, well, let me see, uh, both of these, let me show you these editions off here. This is the old IFC edition on, on uh, IFC. It's got a, it's the uh, unrated director's cut. Nice little clear case on there. There's no zero, there's zero reversible cover art on this one. And it, whoop, whoop, it is a standard edition DVD. Hey, what do we got here for the specs? Whew. There's your special features there, folks, and that's for this IFC release. Um, a lot of stuff on this release right here, though. This is the uh, full sequence or complete sequence here, and it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful release. As you see along the backside, you get a nice little centipede there but um it comes with both all three of them both your part one part two and part three and as if you remove under them it's got the uh the uh oh get you out of there you suckle fish it's got the original artwork for it it's for the original theatrical artwork so we're going to be over here on this guy right here let's take a whoop whoop let's take a peek at that one right there this is Human Centipede 2. This is what we're dealing with today, folks. Yes. How many people out there like the Human Centipede franchise? I, I enjoy it uh, a lot. Um, part 2 is my... Um, actually, I like them in order. Part 1 is my favorite. Uh, just because it's the thought, the premise of it is just so insane and new. And um, the story that I... S I don't know if it's true. Um, uh, allegedly, Tom Six had come up with the idea while hanging out with a group of friends, and an idea came up that, well, you know, what do you do to pedophiles and people that are, are you know, sick folks like that? You, he came up with the idea of taping their mouth to the anus of a trucker and and driving around one of those type of ordeals. <laughs> um, so that's how the, what I heard, how the, the uh, birth of the human centipede came about in the Tom Six uh, universe, which um, I'm looking forward to his next film. I forget the name of it right now. Um, do you any of you out there know what the name of it is? I, I'm drawing a complete blank. I should have looked it up again before. Uh, looked up, looked it up, look, holy moly, Matt, that is just terrible, I, I went and looked it up, I had it in my brain, and then as soon as I started, started talking and get to this part, I completely draw a blank, so, don't shoot me, folks, don't shoot me, <laughs> um, so what is the Human Centipede 2 about? It's uh, about a man who is obsessing over the human centipede, uh, the the very first film. And basically, what what they do is the premise that the first first one is just a film. Uh, he's why like you start in like he is watching part one, and it's treated as its own film. Uh, he obsesses about this film because it's his favorite film. Uh, very weird how how that came about but um it works in my opinion um it works uh so he is obsessive um all the way to the point that he has a this like giant uh book like memoir uh, that's just devoted to it um he that and it has um he wants to make a centipede that's 12 people long. One of those ordeals where he wants to outdo the film. So Because in, in reality, that's, his, that's really what's going on is this man. Um, or is it just uh, another thing that's in, in his brain? You know, it's, it's quite uh, interesting. But so, Martin is a very, very troubled man. He was molested when he was a young kid by, by his uh, father, who is away in prison, by the way, but due to these these crimes that he did, as he should be, um, and the whole mo mom and and Martin have a very strange relationship. 
he just kind of goes along with things. He he doesn't say. I think he says one word in the whole movie. I can't I can't remember what word it is right now. But um, he is all he is completely silent for the most. He plays. Uh, he, he does sounds, he'll, he'll, like, uh, make moanings and groanings and, and things of that nature, um, kind of weird, but, uh, it works with him, makes him even more creepy, creepy, but this, uh, relationship between him and his mother is bizarre, like, she hate, full-on hates Martin, like, she wants him dead because the husband is, the dad is in prison because of that, um, kind of a, a screwed up situation when the mom would, would gladly take the side of the abuser over their own son. That's just, it just blows my mind. And then in the process, there's also this really strange, like, uh, doctor who's got this freaking epic beard, man. I, you know, maybe someday I'll, I'll rock something that long, but, uh, for now, I, I'm I'm okay with the length that it is, uh, <laughs> but he also this doctor is is also a pervert as well. He wants to do things to Martin because they consider Martin to be um, mentally handicapped on the the spectrum. They keep calling him the R word. Uh, I'm not going to say the R word because. Um, that word I feel is very hurtful. Uh, my my uh, fiance, my soon to be wife, is a uh, teacher for for children of that variety or of that have that those those uh, learning that learning curve. So it's one of those things that touches it. It, it definitely come definitely uh, uh, it strikes a heart strikes to my heart. You know, it pulls on the heartstrings in an angrily way when I hear that word. Um, it's just not very cool. It's outdated. And if you're going to call somebody names, look at yourself first before you even throw that first stone. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. It's my new favorite thing to say. But Martin, uh, he's got this whole thing with this perverted doctor. Uh, his mother hates him. He uh, uh, works this basically a dead-end job in a parking garage which is where he gets uh, a good portion of his victims for the uh the human centipede that he is making which i stated before which is going to be a 12 person uh centipede which in part one it's only a three person centipede so it's it, he wanted to uh really outdo he wanted to do he wanted to quadruple the size of what what uh he did so it's it's insane to think that um somebody would obsess that much about a film that they would like to re like reenact like enact it and and make it a reality uh very scary stuff um, there is a whole thing with a pregnant lady that, uh, is very cringy towards the end. Uh, it's probably the reason why I put this up there with, uh, uh, really the fil films that are really messed up just because that is, whew, it is brutal and, and is one of those things that sticks in your head from the first time I saw it. I just, with the baby it's uh it was it was it was jaw dropping very first time but now it's just like whatever you know i've seen it a million times now but there's a whole thing with the baby uh there's a thing with a weird neighbor upstairs who's covered in tattoos who actually has a centipede tattoo on around his neck uh or kind of like coming up around and going up over on his on his head in a weird fashion. Now, I mean, it looks kind of cool. Nothing I would ever get because I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not brave enough to rock tattoos above the neck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not that brave. Or on the hands. I'm not brave enough for the hands either. <laughs> anyway, anyway, there's my word again. Uh. What else do we got on this? Uh, let me check my notes here real quick. Uh, the, this part two does have an alternative co color edition, which is available on the Scream Factory edition here. Um, I've watched it a couple times on the color. The 
black and white original is the way to go with it because it just it fits perfectly uh doesn't really have any kind of stutters to it it's really well made on that end uh what else do we got here that thing had a horribly bad trouble getting on the bbfc um oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. allegedly in uh uh 2016 a teacher showed human centipede um is it part two yeah the human centipede part two in his class to show uh why you shouldn't it was an anti-bullying type thing and i can kind of see it because martin is very very bullied and very troubled because of it um and he gets bullied throughout the film uh more and more and more as as time goes and you can see his fragile mind just just warp and and break into this a million pieces and just become this monster it's kind of kind of crazy um I'm going to hurry up because I'm at that 15-minute mark, I just noticed. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. It's a 4 on the entertainment side. It's a 4 on the technical side. It's going to have an 8 out of 10. I'll take that. It's very, very good. I hope you guys check it out. I love your faces. Sorry for the quick exit because I'm at 16 minutes, and I hate being the, my videos being this long. Love your faces.